Okay, we're now ready to load in our uh, operating system onto our virtual machine now. So you just press start. And now's a good time to go ahead and load your CD in that you want to use just so it has time to get ready and uh, situated, so to speak. And we'll press next. Okay. Right now, okay, I'm going to wait until my CD is actually ready. It should pop up on my desktop when it's ready. And there it is, so I should be able to go ahead and we'll click Next. And I'm going off of the uh, CD-ROM drive there. And click Finish. start loading in. Let me just make this all bigger here. Okay, whenever you go to use your okay. Whenever you go to use your mouse or keyboard here, you'll get a uh, thing showing that you need to capture it, okay? So basically all that is is you'll use your mouse all right here, uh set Windows XP now, press enter. And right here F8 to I agree. Okay, right here is where we're saying we're gonna use that ten gigabytes of space. And I always go with this uh, format partitioning um, using the NTSF file system quick. Okay. Okay. Anyway, to, anyway, you should see a thing that says capture the keyboard and cursor. Okay, so basically when you tap inside of that environment you will have the cursor for inside the Windows environment only. To get out of that, you'll use the right control button or whatever it says is your host key. For me, and I, th I would imagine for just about all the machines for VirtualBox, the control, the control key on the right side, there's two control keys, one on the left side, one on the right side of the keyboard. Uh, the one on the right side is the one that is called the host key. Okay, so you'll just press that right control key and that will bring your keyboard and mouse outside of the Windows environment then. And we'll pause this until we need to do something more. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about with the uh, capturing the uh, cursor and the keyboard. We're just going to click inside here and now I'm using this cursor. Okay. I'm just going to run through a couple things here really quick. And some uh, things that might be kind of important for you to understand about the setting things up in VirtualBox for your operating system, such as how you'll connect to the internet and stuff like that. right now. Okay, for connecting to the internet we're going to click on no. This computer will connect directly to the internet. It directs, it connects directly from your host. Your host computer or operating system will feed VirtualBox the internet connection. And remember to uh, activate your Windows or whatever operating system you may be using so you don't get locked out. I'll just skip that for now, though. But I have been locked out before <laughs> and had to uh, just restart over because with that machine.
because of uh, I was locked out. <laughs> believe that's about it so now uh, just go on to the next video and you will learn about the uh, going to full screen and for creating USB ports All right.